What's up guys, welcome back to Semper Inter TV. Back again with some uh, hashtag transfer talk. The show that's trying to keep you up to date, trying to keep you up to date with everything that's going up uh, in the world of Inter in terms of uh, transfer news, gossip and rumours. Let us start off with the news that uh, Inter confirmed the other day, which is the pre-season retreat it will be done in uh, Lugano, Switzerland. And it will start in the 8th of July up until the 14th of July um, so that means kind of technically our season starts uh, in, in about three weeks uh, so Antonio Conte's first ever um, you know training session will take part uh, will be done in the 8th of July and uh, with or without Icardi um, so of course depending on a few of the Copa America players uh, pretty much the whole team will start the season on that date so I'm starting to look forward to it um, the players need to be mentally, physically ready by then. Antonio Conte and his backroom coaching staff and physical uh, preparation team notoriously, uh, you know, with very high demands. Um, also, another confirmation that came through was that Antonio Pintus, which is the uh, physical uh, coach that uh, works with Antonio Conte, has worked with Antonio Conte in the past at Juventus and uh, was working at uh, Real Madrid, has now uh, come over as part of uh, the backroom coaching staff for Inter. So he will be taking care of the players, the fitness levels, and he's uh, uh, known to be a very, uh, very strict and uh, very intense um, in terms of his uh, methods to get the players ready for the season ahead. So um, one confirmation is definitely this Inter team will be running up until the 90th minute. So expect a very, fit and athletic into team this year the next news is of course uh, once again Mauri Cardi I think uh, I don't think there's going to be a video this summer uh, without this uh, this guy I don't know what to say anymore uh, this is going to be a longer summer for all you Cardi fanboys and for Inter fans in general uh, it seems like things are going to turn sour um, as I said last week Antonio Conte has said that he doesn't want Icardi to be part of his team next season he, did, he feels like he would be a hindrance, he would, he's the co troubles he caused in the past season. He does not want that to be in the dressing room. Marotta and the other directors have uh, also seemed to not be wanting Icardi as part of Inter's plans for the future. They're trying to sell him. Icardi doesn't want to leave. Um, he's kind of rejected the few first few offers that have come in, uh, reportedly from Roma. Um, and now it seems like, you know, if no one's going to buy him, La Repubblica is a Roman newspaper is reporting that Icardi may even result to suing Inter uh, for kind of uh, mobbing or for the treatment they have uh, reserved towards him and uh, that's an absolute joke really because he's the one that kind of I think was breaching his contract really uh, in February when he uh, decided not to turn up to training for over a month due to an injury which was kind of you know proven not to be true by Inter and the um, the uh, the test, the medical test that they undertook. Um, I mean, I, I tried to stay away, kind of commenting exactly what's, uh, what I think of the situation because we don't really know what went what went wrong, uh, or what happened in uh, in that period. Um, you know, no one's kind of really come out and said exactly what's happened. Spalletti was the only one that came out and kind of revealed a few details, but we haven't heard the Cardi side of the the story. Um, I'm surprised that Wanda, Wanda Nara, his agent wife, hasn't come out and said anything yet um, in terms of revealing exactly what happened in that dressing room. I think a lot of Inter fans would like clarification on exactly what happened. What role did Icardi play in that whole situation? What role was uh, Perisic, uh, Andanovic, Spalletti? We need to know exactly what happened, uh, but it looks like we won't get clarification on that. Things are turning sour. Uh, I don't see this being resolved very peacefully. Inter need to sell him as soon as possible to kind of, uh, you know, make some uh, decent money out of him because uh, the more we wait, the more the transfer value drops for the player. Definitely not nowhere near around the 110 million mark anymore now. Even the 50, 60 million mark is looking like a stretch now. Not many clubs are interested in him. And reports are even indicating that you know the contract might even have to be terminated uh, by the looks of things i mean that's definitely not one something that we want to happen i mean i'm sure sooning as a you know one of the biggest business empires in china no that's not how to conduct business you don't want to lose a, a massive valuable asset like cardi for nothing 
So let's hope that uh, th that is resolved as soon as possible in the best way possible for both club and player because this guy is just throwing away his life. But the Icardi, just please fire your agent. Just let her be your wife. Turn to a professional. Sort things out with the club. Sort out your career. So the report comes from La Repubblica, which is a Roman newspaper, which is notoriously quite, you know, not a very reliable source. So, you know, I'm not saying this, uh, this is a uh, you know, 100% confirmed report. This is just rumors at the moment. So let's see how things develop uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, reports that are coming as saying that Icardi is looking to do, or if this, this kind of thing do turn sour, um, Goran Pandev at Lazio in 2009 is a similar situation where he was frozen out by the club um, and then in the end he sued the club and actually won but in this case uh, it's very difficult to see Icardi winning in court uh, you know he really doesn't have a leg to stand on in terms of what's happened and his behaviour uh, afterwards uh, after the, uh, the captaincy being stripped of him definitely was not you know he definitely is in breach of his contract so it will be definitely uh, need to be seen what exactly happens but things are not looking good for Icardi if he wants to take that route. In more positive news though uh, another confirmation is, or soon to be officially announced is that uh, Lele Oriali will return to Inter as a team manager alongside Antonio Conte who he has already worked with in the Italian national team so that's uh, really good news for me uh, I think uh, that team manager role has been the link missing in between the, the sort of the directors and the inter management and the linking in between the players and the management um, especially last season we saw uh, you know an historic figure like Oriali who has worked at Inter before he was part of uh, Inter when uh, Moratti was there he was part of the triplete team he was the team manager when Mourinho was there so he's a guy who knows he's been there he's done that he knows what it means to play for Inter he knows the value of the shirt um, and hopefully he's he will be able to translate that to some of those players there that that really need you know understanding of what it means to put on an inter shirt and hopefully avoid the troubles that we had in the past season with the nine golans kind of uh, off the pitch behavior and lack of discipline and of course the cardi perisic whatever situation that went on with spalletti um, hopefully having that a link in between the club and the manager and the management uh, we'll be able to iron out those kind of issues and I'm very uh, happy that Lele Oriali has returned to the club. Um, he definitely is a club legend. In terms of the uh, transfer news, it's just as last week really, uh, the ongoing negotiations for Barella and Lazzaro are still ongoing. Um, the agreement with the players in, uh, reportedly has been uh, completed, you know, the wages, the, uh, the amount of years to sign for both players has been agreed in principle. It's just the sort of ongoing negotiations with the respective clubs. Uh, Cagliari are playing hardball for Barella, asking uh, for around 50 million and really playing hardball in terms of the uh, counterpart players that they want. Um, you know, they want someone of quality. They, they're asking for Bastoni, the young centre-back who Conte now wants to keep. And I agree with that decision. I think Bastoni should be kept because we don't have another left uh, footed centre-back in the squad and if we're going to play three centre-backs we do need at least six centre-backs in the team to rotate and uh, I think um, you know the hopefully we can kind of uh, propose a, di a different youth player or even Eder from uh, Jiangsu Suning has been proposed as kind of a part of the deal to sweeten the deal so 35 million plus another player and for Lazzaro, uh, I think Inter have reportedly upped their offer to around 17 million euros. Um, I think Hertha are looking for around the 20-25 million mark. So hopefully the, that can be ironed out in the next few days and coming weeks uh, for, you know, in the middle. So the, the two teams can meet somewhere in the middle for, the, for him. Um, looks like an interesting player. Athletic wing back, exactly what Conte likes to have in his team. So um, hopefully... Conte has the players that, or most of the players that he wants by the time, you know, the preseason starts in the 8th of July. Uh, Edin Dzeko is still, you know, ongoing, but seems like that will be done. Um, so that looks like there could be three players potentially part of that uh, preseason training in Lugano. But apart from that, um, in terms of transfer, incoming and outgoings is kind of quiet at the moment. But one thing I wanted to mention is that I'm not hearing anything about Jean Mario, any, any offers or any teams interested in Jean Mario. 
So Marotta Ozilio, I want you to put together a video, a clip of uh, Jean Mario 2018-19 best highlights, skills, goals, get you know a YouTuber to make something. I can make it for you if you don't want to make it. Send it out to clubs, go through the, the phone book, every single agent in Europe, sell Jean Mario. This guy needs to go. You know, we need to make that money back, those 40 million that we spend on him. To not make a loss on him, Inter need to sell him for around 18 to 20 million mark, I believe. Um, you know, his uh, residual value on the books now has, is around that mark. And it just looks like no club is willing to pay that amount. Sporting Lisbon are said to be interested in him. Um, so please, please guys, I'm begging you to find a club to buy Jean Mario. So uh, that's it for this week guys in terms of transfer talk, hope you enjoyed that episode. I'll continue to keep you up to date with what's going on in Interworld as I said. Please like and subscribe, comment down below what you think of uh, Inter's uh, current transfer uh, transfer market. What do you think of Lele Oriali returning? Is he, um, he going to make a big difference do you think to the team? And um, yeah, um, please like and subscribe as I said. Ciao, Forza Inter!